Okay, YouTubers, and this is just a quick video to show you how they downplay the modeling, and, and they do it in a huge kind of way. If you look at this screen capture from the NRC Freedom of Information Act documents pertaining to Fukushima, uh, what's being discussed here is a model being done by NARAC, N-A-R-A-C, and down here at the bottom, the relevant section that I want to discuss says all 96-hour dose projections, Alaska, Hawaii, West Coast, are well below the one rem total effective dose based on predicted cesium-137 deposition. Well, they don't talk about plutonium, number one. That's a big, uh, big flaw right there. But number two, this 96-hour dose projection. Okay, notice how it's, you know, not even a week, not two weeks, not three weeks, 96 hours. And it's being based on that. And protective action guidelines and warnings or lack of warnings are being based on these downplay in, in a temporal aspect in the time aspect they're downplaying the time of emanations let's look at another screen capture from the NRC for you documents I will include all of these in high definition as I always do and here's Jim Wiggins an unknown male participant discussing the quote-unquote president's worst case scenario and the male participant says referring to the president's uh, case scenario it's bounding it includes the fuel in the three reactors the fuel in four spent fuel pools, it does not include the common spent fuel pool around unit four, nor reactors five and six, or any spent fuel pools there. And it's assumed a release based over a four to five day only period. Four to five day period. Based, a release based over a four to five day period. We went 96 hours and we got four to five day. And that's what I find in these documents. It's a matter of days that they'll model for. Now, Let's look at some information sent to me recently by Shazam. Thank you, Shazam. And here is a actual TEPCO uh, plume map. Okay, this is not a model. This is a TEPCO plume map. They actually have measurements, uh, reading uh, radiation uh, readings on this particular. If you look over here, they give uh, 1 by 10 to the negative 15, so on and so forth. They're giving actual uh, measurements. But what is important to note here ladies and gentlemen not only the fact that you have a plume obvious visible plume that TEPCO is and not modeling this is what they're detecting over here look at the date 3 29 2011 3 29 2011 right that's 18 days after the initial earthquake and tsunami okay we still have plumes and they're not modeling it. These are measurements according to what I, the way I comprehend these. And let's look at another one. And wow, folks, look at that 65 kilometer uh, plume that they're measuring. And I've got some, and I've already done a video on this. I'll do it again. I have a folder on Tokyo where there's a 65 kilometer plume just like that, but going in this direction, straight at Tokyo, straight. And some going out to sea where, you know, ships were, right? So here again, what's the date? 3-30-2011. 3 30 2011 and this is not a model again here's measurements right here it's a plume it's a plume so emanations are ongoing let's look at one more here we go from 3 30 11 there's a different varying times but that's that same plume see how it changes over time but still what a long uh, plume what a long plume and look at the date again 3 30 2011 so i find these 96 hour and four to five days that's criminal man that's criminal. They know better than that. They're, this is their field, nuclear uh, power. This is their field. And if they don't know better than that, you guys are so incompetent, we got to shut it all down anyway. We don't have time to train people, right? Shut them all down. Shut them all down. So, folks, there you have it. Um, the way they base their modeling and, and able to say they'll know harmful levels, that's how they do it. That's how they do it, okay? All right, that's it. Hattrick Penn, you guys have a, as radiation-free a day as you possibly can. All right, over now.